Hi, my name's Ryan, and I'm going to be going over one of the aspects of my dynamic ambient system within Unreal Engine 4 and WISE. The system is using Unreal Engine's blueprints to detect the amount of a certain type of foliage that is around the player in a given radius. As you can see in the image, the event has been set up with a timer, so it's only called every one second rather than being on tick. This has been done to try and reduce the amount of resources used for this event, as the nodes being used can be quite system heavy at times. The main node used is the multi-sphere trace by channel, with the start and end position as the player. This will essentially search for any object with a specific trace channel set up on it in a given radius around the player. I also set up a custom trace channel for this to stop us detecting any other objects on the trace. The trace channel is set up in the project settings under the collision, and I set up the collision preset simply for convenience going forward, as this may be applied to loads of different foliage types. On the static mesh object, or in this case foliage type, you need to make sure that the custom collision channel is set to overlap or the trace will not work. The next node in the chain is the length node. This will count the amount of trace hits there are in the radius. And then this is converted into an integer to control the RTPC. When deciding on the maximum amount for the RTPC, I found the most densely populated foliage area I could find on the map and found the highest amount of trace hits I could get in this area. In this case, there were around a maximum of 10. The RTPC is also using a slew rate. Uh, this is simply just for some smoother transitions between the RTPC values. Once everything is all set up, the RTPC can be used to control many different aspects of the ambience. In this case, it's been used to control the characteristics and the amount of bird sounds in the woodland areas. There's a lot more that can be done with this system, like controlling the type of wind being played or the sound of an area entirely. It can also make the ambience seem a lot more dynamic and doesn't require the manual placement of colliders or triggers to change the sound. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video interesting. Also, if you have any suggestions on how the system can be improved upon, leave a comment or send me a message. I'd love to hear any ideas how to improve this concept.